Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be learning how to create this very beautiful e-commerce website in WordPress. The page builder that we're going to be using is going to be free, the theme is going to be free, and all the plugins and resources that we're going to be using are going to be free. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use stock images to build these very nice um, banner images um, like these, like these, and these um, categories. Okay, let's take a demo tour of the website. So we're having a header section here that nicely blends in with the hero section below it. Yeah, then we're having some banner images right here. And below that, we're also having another banner image with a call to action. Yeah then also we're having these three kind of categories that are showing the virgin hair the best sellers and the sales items okay then we're having a product carousel that customers can click either on the left or right arrows to scroll through them they can view them or add them to the cart then lastly for the home page you're having this um call to action with the read now for the guides yeah for example how to wear these were extensions and everything okay then we're having this very nice 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 footer section with some shop information and pages some support pages some my account pages and i'm going to show you guys how to create this email subscription kind of feature on the footer page okay so this is how everything looks on mobile it's a quick look at the mobile version and everything looks good uh, the carousel is looking fine and all the layouts and everything is well positioned okay yeah so when you take a look at the shop section even the products themselves are looking really really nice i'm also going to show you guys how to set up the woocommerce app on your smartphone so that you guys can manage your orders on your smartphone can view your new orders on your smartphone can also track analytics and manage inventory using your smartphone now uh, when you take a look at the shop page okay we are having this banner image and this is very different from your default woocommerce pages yeah as you guys can see i'm going to show you guys how to customize everything here for example you want more products or less products to appear on a single row yeah i'm going to show you guys how to um, increase these fonts how to change them which wouldn't be able in the default um, theme customizer setting okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to do all that stuff so once you hover over an image then the product uh, photo changes yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to create all that stuff okay then when you take a look at the product page okay um, someone can easily come here then select um, the type of the part for example the wig or hair extension they want the length then also the size they can add it to the cart and so in below this you're having some more product images that someone can easily click through and check out the variants of the product then the description of the product and everything and some also related products okay so when you take a look at the cart someone can easily check out for example um, like this and they can add their billing information here on the left then on the right there is another summary for all their products and they can see the shipping rates the subtotals and the final total so i've only configured paypal and cash on delivery but you can add more um, payment gateways to your store okay so i'm gonna show you guys how to also customize your emails once an order is complete because by default this is the default um email template that uh, woocommerce uses to send it out to your customers yeah so it has this purple shade this font and just basically the order details yeah so we're gonna customize this to something like this okay nourish which is our logo right here thanks for shopping with us the name order dates different colors um so in this email template you can actually add some extra information for example here added some video guide of how to wear these hair extensions then i made some offers for example uh, use summer sale uh, discount code 
on these new hair extensions, added the billing and shipping address of the customer, then uh, thank you for shopping with us, okay? So you can basically make this very, very customizable and unique, yeah? So if you have some products that you wanna promote here, it's a, it's a very good plugin and feature to have on your website, okay? Yeah. So guys, before we get started, we need to set up hosting and a domain name. And basically what a domain name is, it's something like this, yeah? For example, your business name, dot com, yeah, it identifies your business uniquely on the internet. Then you're also going to need hosting, um, a web server, where you're going to store all these website images and the files that we're going to be using for this project, yeah? I know some of you are familiar with this, but... This is really simple to set up, so just stick around and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Then if you're just doing this video for learning purposes, you can use a software like local WP that will basically set up a server environment on your on your machine and basically you'll be able to create all these WordPress websites locally. Then when you're ready to migrate them online, then you can move them online, okay? So for now, let's just set up the hosting. Then you can download this software if you don't want to set up the hosting. All right. So head over to hostinger.com and hit the login button. And once you're here, you can select the Google button to automatically sign you in into Hostinger, even though you don't have an account. Okay. So I've signed in right here. And once you sign in, it's going to lead you to this page. And when you're here under hosting, if you have to click hosting and check out the hosting plans they offer, they offer three different hosting plans but i usually like to go with the middle tier the middle one which is called premium web hosting um kind of offers 100 websites 100 subdomains and all some other a whole bunch of other features that i really like so i'll select that then you can select either 48 months 24 12 or even one month and for this case i'll be going for one month since this is just for demo purposes only yeah so I'll select one month, and once I'm happy with that, I'll just choose a payment method. And once that's done, you gotta select a payment method that you wanna use. I'll be using MasterCard, but you guys can use GPay, PayPal, or any other option that you find with. So I've filled in my card, and I'm gonna hit Pay Now, okay? And once I've paid now, all I have to do is to click this Setup button, and I start setting up my hosting sort of configuration information okay so hit setup and it's going to lead you to this page where you can start you know setting up your hosting so click start now while creating the website for you can select i'm creating for myself who's creating i'll be building the website myself the type of website that you want to build it's going to be business so do you need help um uh, probably yes if you're a beginner and once you've selected that, it's going to lead you to this page where you can create your new website. Or if you already have a website from another hosting company, you can migrate it over to hosting. So I'm going to create a new website. And I'm going to select the WordPress button on the right and click select WordPress. Okay. And right here, I'm going to need to add a password and an email that I'll be using to log into my WordPress website okay so i'm just gonna type it in here remember that you have to remember this password that you create and once you're done just hit continue they're gonna ask you to add these plugins to your website but you may not really really need them so um i'll just disable those and hit continue yeah then uh, they'll ask you the look basically they're telling you to select a theme but i'll just select this first one in the corner and right now they're going to ask you to buy domain name or if you have an existing domain. So let's just buy a new one since you guys may not be having already domains. So I'll just select buy domain and type in here in the search box the domain name that I would want. So you guys can type in one for your business and you see the domains that Hostinger has for you. Yeah. So you can hit search once you're done. Uh, typing the name and to display a bunch of extensions so you can see dot cloud dot info dot shop so i'm looking for something really cheap since this is a demo tutorial um i'm gonna scroll through these so this dot store dot tech dot site 
uh, you can even view more extensions that these guys have dot fun um, yeah so there are a bunch of extensions that you guys can go through uh, but for this tutorial let me I think I'll buy this second one on the downer list year dot cloud yeah and I'll purchase it for one year yeah which is okay with me and I'll just complete the payment uh, okay so when I process and says the payment was successful so I'm gonna hit next yeah so the other forms here that can basically fill in your personal information yeah and once you're done posting I will finish up the setup really quickly and you just have to click finish setup and you'd be good to go so once the setup is finished uh, hosting I will install the WordPress and right now you can click on this edit website and it will lead you straight into your WordPress dashboard and you start creating your website another way to log into WordPress that I have to show you is to add this extension of WP admin at the end of your domain name yeah and it will lead you to this login page where you can type in your email that we just configured in a few minutes ago then also the password that you set yeah so you can go ahead and type in your email then add your password and all you have to do is to click login okay and once you're here you can decide to save these passwords in google chrome and you can start working on your website okay so now guys i hope you successfully logged in because sometimes this entire process can take about an hour for the domain to propagate and you know you being able to actually install and create all these files to get to this step yeah but if you have successfully managed to do so then we can move on yeah so i've developed um kind of a sheet something that we're going to be following um while developing this project the theme you're going to be using the fonts you're going to be using um some of the plugins that we're going to be using for design for email customization for product management then the pages that we're going to be using i've also um listed them out here then also the steps that we're going to be follow so i've outlined them so that we don't skip anything yeah so i'm going to be following this and and yeah let's get started so over back to our dashboard one thing i like to do uh, especially once i'm here is to remove all this is to go under screen options right here and start removing all these to make sure that my dashboard is clean and once i'm done i just click something like that and it goes back okay so let's look at our step number one yeah you've already set up the domain name okay then step number two is installing the astra theme okay now when you take a look for example if i'm to open up this website in a new tab this is how basically it is looking okay now what a theme does it helps you like give your page a uh, structure or some extra functionalities okay yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna first close this okay then i go under appearance then under themes what i'm gonna do while i'm here is i'm gonna go to add new and once i'm here i'm gonna search for astra okay but astra is one of the best themes yeah it's one of the best recommended themes and we have it already right here you don't actually need to search for it so you click install and once it's installed you just have to click activate okay so once it's activated yeah let me close all these maybe we can take a look at how everything is looking once again okay so still nothing much has changed but you see the power of astra now i'm gonna close this once again and i come back to our third step our third step is creating the pages yeah 
so as you guys saw from the home page the new wigs the contact us all that stuff uh, it's what we're gonna handle right now and these are the pages that we want to be creating so we have home guide dollar tracking new in virginia sell and wigs okay so still under your dashboard just come here under pages then click add new okay then you're gonna start adding these pages so i'm gonna close this then the first page i'm gonna create is home publish then the second page is guides so i'm gonna click here add new page and i'm gonna say guides okay then i'm gonna publish that then i'm gonna create another page and and this time around it's gonna be order tracking order tracking okay publish publish that once again click add new page uh order tracking we have new in new in okay then i'm gonna create another page uh we're gonna have virgin hairs cell and wigs okay virgin hair so i'm gonna publish that once again then add new cell then wigs okay so we're having cell right here i'm gonna click publish uh click on add new then let's we're gonna create the wigs okay yeah something like this and publish okay so when you click on this wordpress icon right here it's gonna take us back to the pages section so these are the pages we've just created but meanwhile if you view them they're just um still blank pages with nothing so um let's move on to our third step here by you know moving on to checking out the basic wordpress settings okay okay now close this and go back to our dashboard then while you're in the our dashboard we can go to settings and we can start tinkering with some of them okay so under general this is where I would change stuff like your tagline, um, your title. Maybe you want to change this to a different website state, site title, tagline. For example, you can say the best wigs in town. Best wigs in town, something like that then you can also change your information about your email your administrative email your membership so anyone can sign up on your website which is really important so in this case they can sign up as a, a subscriber but if i had woocommerce installed then an option of signing up a, as a customer would show right here and you can change the site language yeah if for example you're from german spain you have a list of all these countries that you can select their language and work on but as for me i only speak english then uh, what else you can change the time zones and everything but once you're done you can hit save changes okay now other one other important um fact or setting that we need to do is under the reading yeah and always change this from your latest post your home page displays from your latest post to a static page yeah so we need to actually set our home page yeah as the default um home home page display okay yeah and once i'm done with that then i click save then one other setting that i like to change is in the permalink settings we use post name instead it's cleaner and good for seo yeah so as i made those changes i'm gonna click save changes okay so now our third step is done let's go back to 
this document right here and we do some plugin installation okay so now let's take a look at a list of plugins that we're gonna be installing so we're gonna search for them at once install them then we shall activate them all at once okay let's start by custom fonts so to install a plugin you're gonna come to plugins and click add new then we're gonna start searching for these plugins okay the first one was custom uh, fonts all right let's see it was custom fonts by brainstorm force i think yeah so we're gonna install this let's go back and see we need to install elementor so well do not activate it right now we're gonna activate them all at once so we're gonna search for elementor okay now this is a plugin that's gonna help us um with creating the pages and the di and how they're displayed and everything so i'm gonna click install then these elements kit premium add-ons for elementor royal add-ons for elementor and essential add-ons for elementor yeah so right here we have the royal add-ons from this list yeah okay then uh, we have the premium add-ons for elementor that i'm also gonna install okay then uh, we have the essential add-ons still here you guys have already seen this it's here then uh, let's see we have elements kit all right so i think we needed let me see um one two three four five plugins let me see if that is true one two three four five yes yeah so this custom funds plugin we installed at uh, first is the one that's gonna help us um upload our custom fonts that we want to use on the website okay so now let's install some other plugins for email customization so we want to install I want, to, I want you guys to search for brevo brevo is an smtp server okay uh, it's right here it helps us ensure that our emails are delivered to uh, the customers or clients okay then we have ninja forms ninja forms so basically these will help us in creating um with creating um contact pages and subscription page uh, email lists okay so it's right here and i'm gonna click install i want to activate it now then we also need to install this here email customizer as i showed you in the intro that um yay mail it helps us with customizing emails that are being sent out in WooCommerce for different um instances for example when an order is received when it's cancelled when it's refunded yeah yay mail can help you customize these to fit your brand colors and image and logos and everything yeah other than using the default WooCommerce um pages okay then lastly we have three plugins that we want to install we have WooCommerce variation swatches and PayPal for WooCommerce okay so let's go to WooCommerce WooCommerce okay then you're gonna install WooCommerce, yeah. So at this stage, I also want to install the PayPal integration, okay. So if you have Stripe in your region, you can add Stripe as well. That's all right. You can add Stripe as well. Then uh, we have these variation swatches that you also need to install. So I'm gonna type variation swatches and let's see what we have here and i'm gonna use this one by cut flows okay 
I think it will offer more customizability than this one. Yeah. So now I think we've installed all these plugins, but now we need to activate them before we move on to step six. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on plugins again. Or if I'm at the dashboard level right here, then I come under plugins, I can go to installed plugins. Okay. So you have a bunch of them right now. And these ones are highlighted as of other ones that have been activated. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select almost everything. Then I'll uncheck these two that have been activated. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click activate, then click apply. So that all the plugins that we um, installed get activated at once, okay? And I think you can do the same on your end. So yeah, so let's take a look at yeah, a bunch of them have been installed. So I'll close these out and I'll close this out. So I'll dismiss this and i'll close this yes yeah, so elementor and all these other plugins have been successfully installed let's move on to step six which is setting up bravo okay now bravo is when you check out their website for example if i come here and i search for bravo yeah so they will lead me to their website, which I can check out. Okay. And if you already have an account or if you don't have an account, you can sign up or create an account with them. Okay. But what I can do, because me already have an account and I already signed in, I can hit my dashboard and it will open up their back end. Okay. And once you're at this back end, what you can do is you can come right here on your profile on this drop down arrow then click on smtp and api okay then what we're gonna do is to come under api keys okay and we're gonna hit generate new api key so what i'm gonna name this is nourish nourish this is my business name weeks store something like that okay then i'm gonna hit create and it's gonna give me this api key so i'm gonna copy it probably i'll keep it somewhere um let me open up something like where i can paste it because you will need it um Always, yeah, you need it already. Oh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type, I'm gonna paste it in here, okay? Yeah, so then I head back to Brevo and I'll click OK. All right, so now, um, what's gonna happen, or what we need to do is to come back here under nourish and while you are at the dashboard for example once you're here what you can do is you can scroll down to brevo right here then click on home okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in the api key that we got from this side or the one that we saved up here okay we're going to paste it right here and click login. All right. And once you are successfully logged in, what you're going to do is under transaction emails, you're going to click on yes. Yeah. Then it's going to, it's going to ask you, um, right now I already have three sort of like, um, sender accounts. Yeah. But if you have no option here, then you can click on create new user. Okay. Then it will direct you, I mean, create new sender. Then it will direct you to, 
to Brevo, the back end. Yeah. So once you're here, you can click on senders. Then click on add new sender. So now you can use um um your business name here, for example, nourish wigs store yeah and if you have your uh a business email you can add it right here for example nourish at nourish or, or sales at nourish store.com something like that yeah but i'm just gonna use my gmail enoch mgt yeah something like this then i hit save okay so they have sent a certain code to my email so i'm gonna go and check that out i'm gonna log into my gmail and extract that code then paste it back so right here is where we have it so i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna i'm gonna come back to brevo and i'm gonna paste it in right here okay great so now i've created a user that i can actually go back here and apply and select sorry yeah so let me refresh this okay so right now it doesn't show but what i have to do is to actually uninstall the app then do the linking process again and it will it will be back okay so let me do that so to uninstall a plugin you come under plugins then come to install plugins okay then under where is it under this is a plugin smtp email marketing so i'm going to deactivate it real quick and once it's deactivated, I'm going to delete it. Okay. So what we're going to do after deleting it is that we're going to install it again. And um, we're going to go to add new. All right. And then search for Brevo. Once again. And let's see what we have so um it's right here so i'm gonna install it again and activate it okay and once it's activated what we are gonna do is we're gonna come to this brevo still down here the option at the bottom then click home once again and while you're here we're still gonna paste in this api key that they gave us and i'm gonna hit login okay and once it has logged in i'm gonna come back to this middle section that has transactional emails i'll click yes then now my store or my sender is 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 being displayed right here and what i can do right here i can send an a test email to my other email so i'm gonna say online and knock shift at gmail.com then i'll hit send okay then say mail send so now let's check out um my email that has been sent so right here send in blue this email has been sent using before congratulations it has been set up well yeah so now our emails are sending well uh, and what we can do we can return to the dashboard right here and close all this up then we see the next step which is setting up WooCommerce, the mobile app paypal integration and variation swatches okay so now let's go back to the dashboard then under WooCommerce, let's come to settings okay and we start configuring them so at this page under general you can feed in um let me close this you can feed in like your address and everything city where your store is um setting locations shipping taxes and everything yeah then once you made the changes you just need to hit save 
then you can come under products yeah and you can enable this ajax add to cut button whereby the page doesn't have to refresh yeah um when you add a product to the cart or if you want it to redirect to the cart page once an order has been added then product reviews the only setting i would like to change here is that reviews can only be left by verified owners yeah so once someone has made a purchase yeah what you're basically saying is that they should be uh the only people who have made purchases to leave reviews on your products okay yeah so this will prevent you from getting reviews from bots and 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 funny funny you know softwares yeah so products are configured then what we need to do right now is to come under shipping then create what they call shipping zones now a shipping zone is a zone probably where you want to ship yeah for example you're living in the united kingdom so i'm gonna type in united kingdom oh sorry about that then you can select the region where you want to ship to yeah so you can say still united kingdom now i will say let's make everything usa maybe you can call this usa shipping zone yeah then the region you would want to ship to is United States. Okay. Then what you after configuring this, then you can add what I call a shipping method. Yeah. So how much do you wanna charge for the people who are living in the US? So you can offer them a flat rate. Yeah. Then be like add it. Then under flat rate you click edit. Yeah right here edit then you set a figure of how much you'd want to charge them okay maybe you want to charge them 20 us dollars okay then you hit save changes and that will be applied to the shipping zones for the usa but one thing i like to set for example if you go back to shipping zones is that now you have cater for locations okay how your shipping zone is here you have to cater for locations that are not covered yeah for example if you're having clients in the uk or in canada or in any other nearby region yeah you can add something like uh, another shipping zone to cater for that okay but yeah you can also it can also be a flat rate shipping and you can click edit maybe these ones we're going to charge them 30 us dollars for for shipping okay then uh, yeah that is configured go back to shipping zones so shipping zones can be created it doesn't have to be a country it can be a city so you can create certain shipping zones uh, for every city or every state yeah depending on the region where you have where you're living yeah so there are actually more youtube tutorials that um, cover shipping and taxes that i would encourage you guys to watch in case you want to set this up yeah in a very complex or different different way yeah so one thing i would like to verify is the currency of the store and i need to change that so right now the currency is set to usa so if you're living in india indonesia you can basically select any country this carries and just add it there so once that's done let's um configure some payments okay so right now you can use woocommerce payments you can use direct bank transfers but for this demo website i'm gonna turn on the cash on delivery so I'll hit finish setup okay then uh, i'll save changes there is no much change to do right here then i'm gonna click on payments once again and this time around i'm gonna Turn on PayPal. Remember, we installed the plugins already, so the option is being displayed here because we installed the PayPal plugin already. Okay. So once that's activated, once that's turned on, it's gonna bring me to this page where it'll ask, ask me to activate the PayPal. So I'm gonna hit activate. Then it's gonna open up this window. Yeah. 
to make sure you have an account a business account or an account with paypal that can be integrated with your uh, wordpress website okay so it's doing some authentication right now and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna this is my paypal email so i'm gonna click next and password it's already saved i'm gonna hit next and let's see so agree and connect so it has connected and and i'm waiting it for you to refresh right here so i'm um, under payments under standard payments okay if you click on it um let's click um enable and um, paypal features on your store and once that's done just hit save okay then they should this paypal should start working on the website all right so to get started um go to your play store or app store then search for woocommerce and once you're here you can tap open and install okay so it will do the installation process and everything and once it's done installing you can hit open yeah so swipe through skip skip and next then it's gonna ask you to log in yeah so now you can enter your site domain name okay so for example ours is nourish at that.com then hit the next button then you're gonna type in the username and password that you use to log into your wordpress website okay guys remember that is the password that you use for your wordpress website that you're going to use to log in into the woocommerce um application yeah so then the app will open up show you your recent orders and everything so in here you can do everything that you have done in the web version yeah so you can see the recent orders you can create new orders you can edit the orders create coupons create sales um approve orders um add new products delete products um basically anything that you would do in the web version you can still do in the mobile version okay yeah so if you have some people that you want to help you kind of manage this store to set new prices to set um kind of manage inventory yeah they can log in instead of logging them into your website probably they can use this woocommerce application yeah so you can set up admin privileges what they can access what they can change or what they can't change yeah so i think that was pretty simple and if you're interested in using the woocommerce app i think it's a very very great application yeah to handle all your orders okay okay so now that we have configured our woocommerce mobile application let's move on to the next step of creating the header but before you create the header you missed out on creating two pages so we had to create the shop page i know once you view all pages here um we already have the shop page that has been created by the woocommerce um plugin but we don't want that yeah we want to create our own okay so we're gonna click a new and while we are here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say shop all something like this then hit publish and publish it once again then we're gonna add one more page uh, for the guides we didn't create one for the guides so so i'm gonna publish that uh that looks good so then from here i'm gonna go back to wordpress dashboard by clicking here then under appearance 
I'm gonna go to menus. So once I over over appearance and uh, menus, um, what I'm gonna do is to create um two menus. Okay. So you may be wondering why, but here's the reason. Um, you see, let me open up this um demo website that I already created. How we have one menu here and another menu here. Yeah, that's the reason why you need two menus. So you guys are gonna see it come into play real soon. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create menu one. Menu one, and once menu one is created, I'm gonna select it as primary, and I hit create menu. Okay. And menu one is gonna consist of these three shop wigs and virgin hair. So I'm gonna select um view all and I'm gonna select shop all virgin hair then wigs and I click add to menu and once they're added I think if I'm to click this drop down menu and I remove this all part so that just displays that then make sure primary menu is created it's selected and hit save menu then we're gonna hit create new menu okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create menu 2 okay this one right here and we're gonna select secondary menu and hit create menu now um, hit create menu and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, the new in cell and the new page we created guides and gonna click add to menu okay then you can actually sort them by dragging them on top of each other something like this then hit save okay now once that's done uh, we can start building our header menu using the theme customizer to do that come and appearance right here then click on customize okay and it's gonna open up the theme customizer so now once the theme customizer is open all you have to do is to click on uh, to come here and uh, add a builder and while you're here the first thing you want to do is to click on this setting icon right here yeah where the site logo and the primary menu are sitting okay click on this setting right here then come under design and we're gonna change the background color to something black okay so you drag you hit on this color circle then just drag into the bottom left corner okay then the bottom border size i'm gonna take that to zero to make sure there is nothing okay so now we are having our site logo yeah if i click on this site and logo and i go under design i can change the title color to something like white so that it displays right here then uh, the primary menu if i click on it then come under design i can also change that to white okay so let me see where is the white under menu color okay we can say we can come and select this white right here okay so now we can start ordering up the the the, the, the menu okay so first i'm gonna drag this into somewhere in the middle like that all right then this primary menu i want it to the left okay then to the right right here i want to add the secondary menu okay and the secondary menu remember it was menu two and when i when i click and insert that it brings the secondary menu but i also need to change the design element under the design tab and give it a white text okay so once i come to menu link and text then it's gonna be white all right so now let's see what we have here so when you look at on the right on this already finished website we have a card and we have an account icon yeah so to do that i'm gonna click i think i'm gonna click on the on that plus button right here then i'm gonna add the card which is here and 
the way it's displaying it's displaying fine right now yeah but i'm thinking i need to add something here okay now it's a little bit um the space right here is kind of done so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna add this account icon right here okay so once i click the account icon it automatically aligns up to the to the to the to the head okay so if i'm to take this away then the account doesn't appear because i think it's still colored black but what we can do is to click on account okay then remember guys whenever i want to change the color of something yeah in the theme customizer you just have to come to click on it for example like this then come to design okay so under icon color i can make this white and it definitely appears the way you guys sing it there okay then um, this cut also can also be changed to white so for example if i click on it i can change for example let me click on it again i can change its style yeah to even something like this then under design i can still the, change the cut color to white yeah even this other color i can also change it to white okay so um so now that everything is kind of starting to look good what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on this cut icon once again because i i need to make sure this count cut color is something like black yeah so you guys can play with these settings and the border width i'm going to take it to zero i don't want any border on it and i think once i come to the general i think i like this version of the cut much better yeah i think that's much better for me so i'm gonna click on the secondary menu and under design okay i'm gonna i'm gonna under design here i'm gonna change its color to white okay so i'm gonna change the menu color first to white okay so it has changed to white then i'm gonna also change the hover color when someone hovers over it i still want it to change it's gonna be white or you can select this darker shade but i'm gonna keep it white then also when it's active i'm also gonna keep it white okay so what i'm gonna do is under font right here i'm gonna click on the menu font then i'm gonna select poppins so under font family i'm gonna select poppins then uh, i'm gonna make it um the font weight i'm gonna make it 400 then i want the text to be uppercase so i'm gonna click on this and i think 14 the font size should be 13 yeah then the spacing can be four i think that looks fine yeah so what i want to do now i want to make the same font changes to the primary menu so i'm going to click on the primary menu yeah right here then under design okay what i'm gonna do is i need to make sure that text under the menu color it's white even when it's active it's white even on hover the third option it also becomes white yeah then i come and select menu font okay under font family where there is a word inherit i'm gonna type in poppins then uh, i think the weight was 400 the font size 13 then what i'm then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change it to okay it says to be four i think it's a font weight font size that has to be 14 then i'm gonna make it caps all capital letters okay so if i'm to take that away it kind of looks like this okay so now let's add our logo in the middle right here so i'm gonna click on this icon 
right here or alternatively you can click on site title and logo then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our logo so i'm gonna go to upload files select files and this is our logo right here that i wanna upload so i'm gonna click open yeah and once it's open i'm gonna click select and it's white so you guys may not see anything here so i'm gonna click skip cropping and then it's gonna appear okay so now what you see for example right here this nourish wings it's called a site title and to display it you need to under this site title and visibility just need to check it off off and even on mobile it's off okay yeah i think that would be it yeah so now our header is looking real 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 nice however the story doesn't end there you need to configure them for the mobile version and also the tablet version okay so now let's click on this phone icon to see how everything looks on mobile okay now the way things are looking on mobile if i'm to zoom out a little yeah because it was hiding certain parts of it so this is how everything is looking on mobile okay yeah it has a different menu with all this stuff that's going on but how do we solve that problem okay to solve it we're gonna first publish this okay then what we need to do is to go back to the dashboard then create a menu specifically to be displayed on mobile phones okay so to do that i'm gonna log into my back end so you guys can also go back to your back end i think i showed you guys how to log in and i'm gonna zoom in up to 100 percent then what i'm gonna do is i'm under appearance i'm gonna come to menus okay then uh, we're gonna hit create a men create a new menu and we're gonna call this um what should we call it mobile menu mobile menu something like that then we're gonna select off canvas menu and what basically off canvas menu means is this yeah so something that kind of comes and goes off the page yeah yeah so we want our menu to be displayed here on this off canvas all right so then uh, what we're gonna do is after i've typed in mobile menu and selected off canvas menu you're gonna hit create menu okay so on the on the mobile menu the off canvas menu let me see the stuff i want to add i want to add the shop i want to add the wigs i want to add the cell virgin air new in and let me see if i'm to scrub maybe i won't enable the shop i will use the shop all then uh, order tracking and maybe my account yeah so i'm gonna click add new add to menu sorry so shop all i think my account can be down here order tracking shop all weeks yeah so i think this is fair so i'm gonna click save okay then i'm gonna come back to our customizer right here and i just refresh it okay so once it is refreshed i'm gonna i'm gonna select the phone icon once again okay then i'm gonna click on this pen icon to start making the changes but before we do that let's go into the header builder and and we start making the changes so it has disappeared i think i'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit and start working on it okay so now you see how we made the other on the off canvas menu so everything kind of displays well uh, shop all and everything but we need to make this color background give it a background color of of black yeah and yeah so let's to make that uh, black let me zoom in um we need to go to click on this setting okay then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to design 
and we change the background to something like black okay and if i'm to zoom out again and hit this there is no change right now yeah but i think what we can do is to click on the canvas menu the off canvas menu right here and what i'm gonna do is still go under design and also change this background to something like black okay so now it changes so i'm gonna change all these to black okay then uh, the links can be white yeah so everything here is gonna be white and the menu font i'm gonna click on the menu font and i change it to something like poppins so under inherit here for under font family so i'm gonna change it to poppins and the font weight can be 400 the font size can be 12 and they can be uppercase and the spacing can i think be two yeah let's make them uppercase yeah something like that so i think that looks good okay then uh, you guys realized in the in the tutorial i mean in the demo that i showed you guys we had um an icon here for the card yeah but this icon is still blue but i want it to be white so i'm gonna click on it yeah this hamburger menu then i'm gonna come to design and i'm gonna change the icon color to something white yeah so i think that looks good yeah though lastly what we need to add is a cut right here so i'm gonna click on this and click and add a cut okay so we need to interchange this so I'll drag this and place it here so the cut is right here and the menu is right here and i think that looks good okay so guys once you're happy with the changes don't forget to hit publish yeah and i'll close this once we're done but hold on let me see our next step is setting up theme customizer yeah so this that we've been dealing with is the theme customizer and one thing i like to do here is to go under global and change the typography of everything that i'll be using okay so under global okay typography I don't know why it's taking me back, but I want to go to global, then typography, and I'm gonna go to body font. I think let me let me go back to the full desktop version. Yeah, so under base font, body font, I wanna change this to poppins. Okay, then uh, I think the spacing can be one yeah that's all right then uh, the heading font i can change this to poppins and what i can do also here yeah, the spacing right here can be one all right so i think that would be all right and i'll jump out of this out under the colors so i'll change all these to black really i want to only work with one color under colors i'll click on i don't know what's happening so under colors i'm gonna click on color one i'll change it to black so these are the default brand colors that i want to be using so i'll change this to black also and i think i'll just leave it at that then i'll go back to the container okay now the container i would have to change this to full width i think because most of the entire website is going to be spanning you know the banner images i'm using are going to be spanning the entire entire width okay so now so now i'm going to go back and the buttons i want them square something like i don't know why this keeps coming back so I'm gonna go back still under global. I wanna come to buttons. Now it's taking me to the order builder. Come on. 
global so let, let me guys just publish this then refresh and see if these errors will stop to stop malfunctioning so under global that is refreshed oh god i'm gonna go back sorry about this case so under global under buttons i'm gonna select these square buttons but you can select come on buttons i'm gonna select this button style okay and the background i'm gonna select a black background this color right here then the text color should be white yeah oh sorry white then still this i'll select a black background and the text color can be white and the font on the buttons can be poppins yeah so i'm gonna type in poppins and i will make it two a spacing of two and i want it cap in capital letters yeah so let's just make it one i think the spacing will be enough okay so that is done then i'll jump out of here and let me see under page okay what i want to do is um, um let me make let me just turn on the full width then i'll turn off the page headings okay and yeah that's basically it for the pages and the footer there's nothing major here uh let's take a look at some woocommerce settings for example the single product um listing let's see if we can configure something here it's still taking me back okay oh yeah so i think these settings are all okay i think if we need to come back here then we'll come back here but let me publish this let me publish the changes and just close this customizer okay so now we've set out the head and the customizer is okay let's upload some custom fonts we're gonna be only uploading one font okay and you guys will see why now um to upload the font what we're gonna do let's go back to our dashboard and i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna close this and what i'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out to appearance, then click on custom fonts. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is click a new font and I'm gonna click here on choose file. I'm gonna select file. Then I saved the font somewhere. It should be maybe under resources and a font. So I'm gonna upload this one that has true type font. Okay. And it's done uploading. And I'm gonna click use font. Then I'm gonna click save font. Oh, I need to provide a font name. Sorry about that. So let me, let's call it brown sugar because that's the font title. Then I'm gonna click save font. Okay, now that is done. You guys will see the importance of that then there's creating a footer menu then creating some products and creating the home page okay so let's take a look at how the footer is looking we we'll quickly develop that and once it's done we can move on to creating the products the home page then we will be done shortly so now um if i'm up to open up this link that redirects to the website that I had already created just to check out the footer. Um, we are having the shop, the support, the my account and everything. Yeah. So basically I'm going to show you guys how to create all these. Okay. So now um, let's go back to the dashboard and under Ninja Forms because now I now first create this. Yeah. And once I'm done creating this, then these are really easy. Okay. So under cast under in the dashboard. Okay. Let's go back to the dashboard. Uh, so that you guys follow along very well. Under forms. 
I'm gonna click on add new okay and then ninja forms I'm gonna click on add new so I'm gonna say not now then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add a blank form then in this blank form what I'm gonna do is I want to get an email field which is right here I'm gonna drag it then also submit button okay so right now I can click on the settings so I can modify some of this stuff yeah so display you can add a placeholder for example your email your email this is what a placeholder is I mean a placeholder yeah yeah so your email address uh, then submit you can change this text to when you click on submit you can change it to subscribe subs I'll use capital letters subscribe yeah and I think that will be it so I'm gonna click done and I'm gonna click publish and I give it a name of subscribe form okay then I'm gonna hit publish and that will be it yeah so I'm gonna exit out of this yeah so to build this custom footer we're gonna use this elements kit plugin yeah so we're gonna click on head and footer and while you're here I'm gonna go to custom just to finish this setup and I'll click next step I'll click next I'll click next and I'll click next and I'll click next and I'll hit save changes okay so once that loads up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to under elements kit I'm gonna come to header footer then I'm gonna click add new then I'm calling I call this footer maybe custom footer it's gonna be a footer not a header it's gonna cover the entire site then I'm gonna activate it and I'm gonna click on edit content okay so it's gonna open up this edit content page in Elementor where you can start building um, your your footer so now Elementor is open and I'm gonna zoom out so that I can close this so I'll close this then zoom back in okay so you guys can see um hold on so you guys on this completed site you can see how we're having the shop the support and everything is still connected let me show you guys how to quickly create that okay so maybe you want like four columns okay to cater for all this one two three four okay and what you wanna do is click on this section right here I maybe change the text color I mean the background color to something like black yeah so I'm gonna click on this then drag it all the way down to be black then you wanna add a heading right here that says something like shop okay but then you still want it to be in white color and the typography can be poppins okay and the size can be 14 or 16 okay then below that we can have let's see a divider and we can just place it under shop yeah like that and we can make it I think 30% with then the text color can be I mean the color of it can be white yeah let's increase the weight of it or yeah so when I take this away you guys can see that actually that is too heavy so I think you can reduce it something like that then to drag it up to closer to that shop the same way it's looking here what I'm gonna do 
is I go to advanced then make sure these values are unlinked and I use a negative top margin to come closer to pull it closer okay and when I click on this shop maybe I might want to increase the spacing something like one or two yeah then 500 pixels something like that then below this um, divider we can add a list all right so it can be an icon list okay so these items you can remove delete these icons okay for example this item 2 you can also delete that icon this item 3 you can also delete that icon and you can type in your page names for example um sales okay then you can come here under style and under text you can change this text to something brighter or grayish something like this you can also change the typography to something like poppins which is a great font and the font size can be 12 and the transform can be into uppercase then the letter spacing can be two something like that okay yeah so you have to do this for almost all these yeah but what i'm gonna do okay is i'm gonna import a footer template for this site that uh, i've already linked in the description so to do that we're gonna click on this envelope icon right here okay then come under templates it's gonna say you haven't saved any templates yet but i'm gonna click on this upload icon and click select files okay then come to where this template is stored in these files that are provided for you so under template i'm gonna click on footer and click open then i'll click continue and enable and import so it's gonna upload and once the upload is done i'm gonna insert it right there so it has uploaded and i'm gonna click insert and i'm gonna click apply okay so now it's gonna load up i'll close this yeah so right now these are not uppercase so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this popping 600 to uppercase sorry to uppercase and the spacing can be two yeah so i'm gonna copy this and paste the style here and i'll paste the style here and i'll paste the style here okay so now everything looks really really good and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on this pencil icon yeah so it should change something like edit ninja form there then i'm gonna select obviously the subscribe form is already selected right here yeah but if you don't have it selected then you can select it right here yeah then uh, that would be just about it so i can click update okay so if i'm to check out my home page for example if i'm to hit how everything is looking yeah then you'd see that the shop and everything is looking nice yeah and it should look nice on your hand However, we're still having this copyright that doesn't need to be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit customize. Let's jump back into the customizer. And what I'm gonna do while I'm here, what I'm gonna do is that under footer builder, I'm gonna close this uh, copyright. So now it's gone. Then I'm just gonna click publish so if i'm to exit out of here this is how the website is looking however on deleting that it leaves a blank space to the bottom okay now one trick i realized to fix this is just to add 
another section right here okay and in this section you click on the section and a style i just give it a black background let's see how that works out so if i'm to refresh our page right here still it's right there but let me let me add an element to this section so and uh, click on that menu so you can add divider no space let me add this space and see how that fares so i'm gonna click on update then i'm gonna click on refresh and it's it's gone yeah so it's basically i just had to gamble play 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 with some widgets until i figured that out yeah so i just added a spacer and that blank space went away all right so now i'll close that and this is how our site is looking so far okay so we've set up the custom fonts we've set up the footer menu now it's time to create a sample product okay so let me open up a product from our already made store uh, which is let me open this up no, no no let me open this up yeah this should do okay yeah so um let's create one more product let's just create a single product okay so we're going to go back to the dashboard yeah so to create a product you'll have to come under products here and click add new okay i'm going to show you guys how to create a variable product yeah for example let's say this is a product we're going to create and we're going to hit copy okay then we're going to paste the title right here then the description the product description i think i'll just copy this so you guys can type in your own product descriptions and i'll paste that in here then the product image yeah i'm gonna upload some product images so under products i think i should find some images for example i can take these three okay then i click open and one of them is going to be the main product image for example let me select this okay then i can also create a product gallery so the media library i think i'm going to hold control and select all these three then i'm going to give it a regular price of maybe 125 okay and you can also add some categories for example this can be hair extensions yeah. so once you're comfortable with everything so you've configured the uh, the pricing you can add some sales prices you can track inventory some shipping options right here but basically this is the simplest product setup okay and once it's it's saved and updated and published you can take a look at it by opening it up in a new tab yeah so this is what we have so far yeah and if you guys are to take a look at this product in our already um made store it has these options where you can select these variants okay so to do that what we're gonna do is we need to make it a variable product okay let me show you guys how to create a variable product so within this same product that we've created okay instead of it being a simple product it can be a variable product okay so but before you create a variable product you need to create attributes now that's where the variation such as plugins comes in okay so you can come under attributes maybe open this up in a new tab then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create attributes um for example 
for this business that you're creating for the number one attribute they have is a length of the weeks okay so i'm going to type in length here then variation such as we add some extra settings here and we'll say label and uh, the type will be label and the shape will be a rounded corner yeah so what that means that i want these rounded corners yeah and the label is basically the text that i want to show okay then i'm gonna click add attributes then i'm gonna add an attribute of size yeah for example it can also be a label or it can be rounded corners then i'll hit save i mean add attribute then uh, what are the attribute then uh, um to be part for example if there's a left part center part side part so it can also be a label and can have rounded corners and we can add each attribute okay so now let's say in length you have wigs that are 10 inches 12 or 15 yeah to create that so you just type in 10 inches right here then click add new length then once that's done you can add the one of the 12 inches and click add new length all right and once that's also done then you can click maybe add one of 14 inches yep and that will be done okay so now once you're done with adding these you can still head back to these attributes right here then under part for example you can say configure terms so let's say you have uh, maybe a center part center part okay yeah then you add that maybe you also have a left sided part of the hair extension something like that so once that's done then you can let's, let's just add one more attribute of let's configure for the size eh? yeah because i think it will be more understandable so let's say you have a small wing so you can add small under size so you click a new size then you can add medium okay then you can also add large okay and once everything is added uh, then you're good to go okay so once everything's added then you can come back here i'll just maybe click update in case we hadn't saved any changes so now the page has refreshed and to make this uh, variable product i already told you guys you just have to come under here and select it as a variable product then come to attributes okay then uh, we are going to select you know, i've just added length then we're going to select all values of length then we add a part so you can select whether you only have for this product you only have a center part only have a left part yeah or yeah so you can add another attribute for example um size maybe for this hair piece we only have large and medium okay large and small so I'll click save attributes okay now while you're here yeah just make sure this is checked used for variables used for variables but by default they are always checked okay and once that's done you come under variations okay then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna generate variations from all those attributes that we have created okay so it's gonna bring up that message and i'll click ok i need to show that two variations have been created so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click expand so that it expands all then i have to manually go and add product by price by price for all products yeah so if you don't add the price for any product then um it may won't it may not appear okay so let's say for example we are selling this 10 inches large lift part maybe i are selling it 300 
yeah then this one you're selling it maybe 200 actually the rest can be 200 but you guys can find a way of pricing your products yeah in a way that you'd want them so i'm just filling these out for purposes of you know being them displayable making them displayable okay yeah so nothing major here these are all dummy valuable i mean dummy values all right so i hope you guys get the idea okay yeah so once all those are filled in then you can click save changes yeah so alternatively you can have every variable um to have different 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 settings yeah so it can have a sale price for example this one can be um 95 if it's discounted in stock status out of stock you can add some future information of weight length and everything yeah but i don't really have the time to go through all that now i'm just showing you guys that it's actually possible yeah so in case you make any changes to the products never forget to hit save okay so now it's let's click update and we take a look at how it's looking okay so now let's open it up in a new link and you guys see now we have it's from 95 to 390 so you can select this and once you select this a given variant then its product price gets displayed right here okay yeah so i think that's majorly how you guys can create this product yeah so right now what i'm gonna do let's take a look at this site that i already developed it has um for example if i go to shop it has a bunch of products right now there are so many that i can't create them one by one in this tutorial it will take us ages to get done yeah yet we haven't even worked on the home page so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna export these and import them in our in the site that we're working on okay so i'm gonna hop into this dashboard guys remember this is a site that i already worked on okay so i'm gonna go to woocommerce or products i'm gonna go to products then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click export and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna generate csv and it's generating the csv and it's gonna allow me to download it so i'm gonna leave this in the templates okay yeah so i think i'm gonna close this yeah so i'm out of the site that we created so i'm in the site that we're working on right now so i'm gonna click on products right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click import okay then it's gonna import the file so i'm gonna choose a file then i'll come under templates then uh, this is a product sheet that we use so i'm gonna hit continue and it's basically gonna import all the information categories prices product photos and everything yeah so in case you want to import these products into your store this must this product sheet is also included in the description okay the link in the description so guys if you're already enjoying this tutorial please leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel that would be great so i'm gonna click on view products and these are some of the products that we are having okay they have successfully imported okay so now um the footer menu is done the products are done it's time to create the home page the show page and some of these other pages okay so now let me close everything to the right and we start working so now let's go to pages and let's take a look at our home page and click view all right this our home page it's blank there's only a footer to it yeah but i'm gonna click on edit page and we start working on it
So now um, I'm going to click edit with the Elementor. So um, Elementor is now open and the first thing that I'm going to do is to add a section right here that has two um, sections okay it's a container actually that has two sections okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this section right here and by the way before I actually proceed I want you guys to click on this settings icon and I want to change this with okay let me first work on this so that you guys that will make sense later on okay so um, let's add a background and let's choose an image so we're gonna upload some files and the files that we're gonna be uploading are stored in the resources and let me see it should be the file that i want to use so i'm gonna open it up it's done uploading so i'm gonna click select and while you're here i'm gonna choose um, under advanced I'm going to unlink the values and I'm going to choose a padding of 200 to the top and 200 to the bottom. Yeah, so I go back under style. I'll make sure this position is center center. Or let me first leave it default. Then I'll say display size cover and I'll say no repeat and I'll see how that looks. And I think. If this position is center center I think now that is nice okay so what I'm gonna do is on the right here I'm gonna add a spacer so I'm gonna search for spacer and I'm gonna make this column width 40 and this column width I'm gonna make it 60 percent yeah so now I'm going to add some text, for example, Nourish. Yeah. So I'm going to say Nourish, which is our brand name. And I think I'm going to center it. So under style, you guys remember the font that we uploaded? Yeah, using custom fonts. It's called Brown Sugar. Yeah, so I'm going to give it uh, let me see, I'm gonna give it a font weight of 99. I think that's cool. Then uh, let it be, let it be white. Yeah. Then the weight, let's see if we can adjust this weight. Something like 400, which is normal. Yeah, that's cool. Then uh, under it, we're gonna have another heading. But this time around it's gonna be a call to action for example shop collections and okay this can be centered also and text color can be white and typography can be four pins and it can be 14 or yeah and then can be no more actually let's make it 500 and the spacing can be two or three i think three is good yeah so um i need to use this as a global font because repeatedly i may need it in my website so i'm gonna click on this and i will say poppins setting something like that heading small yeah I may need to reuse that okay so basically that's how it's looking however i may need to drag it up so i'm gonna click on this nourish a text under advanced i'm gonna unlink then i add a negative bottom margin to to the text and that's how it's looking guys i think it's really looking good okay so now let's move on to the next section and uh, let me show you guys what we're gonna be creating. It's a section right here, okay? So let's get back to our Elementor. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a section 
will list down our arrow and I'm gonna give it um, under style I'm gonna give it a background of let me upload this file right here and the resource says should I I think I'm gonna upload everything now here yeah, because I can't keep uploading and and uploading things each time I want to so let them first get done uploading then I'll select one of them so they're done uploading and this is the image that I want to use so I'm gonna click select and while it's being uploaded I don't know why I'm not seeing the changes but yeah let me let me add some padding right here for example uh, we can do 200 to the top and 200 to the bottom yeah so now um, the the position can be center center then the display size can be cover and I would send a repeat okay great so I think that's cool yeah so guys um, if you have any spaces on your right or left you know side what you can do because I think that has a high chance of happening because you didn't configure the theme customizer to be a full width what you can do is to come here and change this default page layout to element a full width okay then to just make everything stretch across the entire entire page okay yeah because I think it's important for this site all right so now the site is looking good yeah let's add the next section um we're gonna be adding this right here and basically this is the same concept as the header it's just that now we're having a button right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to this and i'm gonna copy it so i'm right click on it i'm gonna copy it and let me just paste it right here okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on this section and i'm gonna go to the style and i'm gonna change the background to something like this with these two ladies okay so under media um these were the ladies i can find them this is the image so i'm gonna select it okay uh, yeah so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to center it to the right yeah good then uh, what i will do is this column is gonna go back to being 50 and this spacer column is also gonna be 50 so i'm gonna type in something like virgin hair virgin hair and this is gonna go down to a font size of something like 50 something let's try 50 or 70 something yeah i think that's cool then we're gonna use a divider below it something like this and let it span i think it can be 66 but let it be centered then let it be white okay then i think the weight the weight is good enough but i think it can be long yeah so if i'm to take this away i think it looks cool so I'll just delete this oh uh, delete this then maybe add a button instead yeah so i'll center the button i'll have something like shop now shop now and under style we can make this black okay then uh, what else can we do the text color obviously has to be white and the typography on the button can be 
uh, poppins but then uh, the weight 500 is okay then 14 pixels is also okay i think let's make it 400 then we just space it out to something like three yeah which i think is really cool but this has a white border to it so under border type um i'm gonna go and change it to solid then i'm gonna give it one pixel and by default it's white so i think that really looks cool um let's proceed to the next section which is adding these three um categories that you see here okay but before maybe we can link this let me show you guys how to link this so once you click on this pen icon for the button you can come under content and where this link you can type in some a link to like for example the category right now it's virgin hair so when someone clicks on this they're going to be redirected to the virgin hair category okay so now let's create these three and to create these it's kind of easy okay um what we'll have to do is to actually create um a section with the right going arrow let me see guys if you have any space oh okay with the right left arrow then inside here we're gonna have a container yeah so we're gonna duplicate it three times oh duplicate it three times okay then we're gonna click on this menu and drag an image put it right there then insert some images okay so the very first image i'm gonna insert should be let me see should be should be this okay great and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna add some text um for example something like under here and it's gonna be virgin virgin hair maybe shop shop virgin hair something like that so um let's make it centered okay then it can be i think poppins should be poppins or what we can do is that we can click on this global then we use this poppins that you already saved and under advanced under layout under margin let's just give it a negative margin of something like minus 50 i think we can do we can do minus 50 yep then we can change this text to white okay then while i'm still editing this it can link to virgin hair maybe it can link to virgin hair so once someone clicks on this then it's automatically redirected yeah so you can do the same thing with the image still this can be custom url in redirecting to the virgin hair kind of collection okay i hope you guys get the idea okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this let's just duplicate it three times or two times so I'll duplicate it one more time and i'll delete these other two so i'll delete this and i'll delete that great so now i'm gonna change this background to something like come on something like this something like this then i'm also gonna click on this and i change it to something another background something like this oh and let me use this yeah so instead of this being shop pagina it's gonna be best sellers 
then uh, maybe sell items so something like this okay so i think that looks good really good and what i'm gonna do now so what i'm gonna do now um there's a lot of space um to between this and this on the sides and everything it's not as neat as because this stretches yeah let me let me figure out a way to to make that equivalent okay so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this section and make it for width okay let's see how that's looking yeah then we're gonna change the minimum height we're gonna change this to vertical height and we change this to 100 okay and i think now the spaces have reduced let me see what else can we do so what we're gonna do um we're gonna remove these gaps so that they are zero yeah we're gonna unlink them and i think now it looks perfect okay so now let's move on to developing the next section right here while we're having these and these carousel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add um uh, a new section and it's gonna have a heading okay should i do that guys again let me show you guys what we really need to do here so i'm gonna close that i'm gonna click on on this add a new container but make sure the arrow is flowing down on this left one yeah this sideways one so i'm gonna click on that then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some text yeah it's gonna be centered and uh, let me just copy it guys so tired to copy it type things but let me just paste it in here and let me turn this to black and the typography remember the font it's called brown sugar brown sugar okay so now i think the font weight let's increase it i think that's enough then what you're gonna add below it is what we call a carousel yep so i'm gonna search for it right here and we're gonna add it just under here okay so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna select a preset yeah and i think the preset that we're gonna be using is you can scroll through them for example preset one preset two and see how they really vary but there's not much a major difference okay so right now i want the title to be showing i don't want the product rating to show then i want the quick view should it be on i think it can be on however once we go to the carousel settings i want how many products to be displayed let me let's make them uh four products yeah i need four products guys yes they are four products okay so now let's do some customization a quick one so now um what we're gonna do is let me see we're gonna have the arrows turned on make sure they're turned on uh, so yes as you guys can see them there and i'm gonna take that away then uh, uh, you can actually filter them based on featured um, best selling sell top rated items whatever you want or you can change their status to publish pending review or scheduled for sale something like that yeah you guys can tinker with these but you can do a lot of 
tinkering yeah with these um, options that this widget offers yeah so the cell uh, preset I want it to change to something like preset 3 yeah preset 3 is good enough then let's style to make sure that everything the color is on point yeah so the product the background color can be let's see let's pick a very grayish kind of light shade something like oh god something like th that okay then uh, um we can uh, we can go into the color and typography right here and basically the font we want to use is popping so the product title is going to be black the typography let's use the other global poppins that we used and let's just ensure that it's uppercase yep yes so now that is settled so the sell price um the regular price can be black and the sell price can be red yeah which is common and the typography can be the global poppins heading that we used i think i would want that to be smaller but i think that's okay then the star ratings we disable those so you may not need to change then the badge color of the cell let's just make that black which i think is looking good then let's see which jump yeah, out of that then we are having the button these i think their color should be their background color should be black then the color should be white even on hover i think they can stay the same yeah so once you check them out yeah they are looking nice then there is a pop-up yeah uh, that also needs so basically whatever color is blue or black we can change it because a pop-up when someone for example clicks they're scrolling so i can't really see yeah so here's a pop-up so we need to change this out to cut colors and everything yeah so they can also be changed to something like black change all this to black change all this to black then um let's see quantity cut button so if you change this cut button to something like black changes to black you guys get the point now yeah yeah so i'll close this and i think this really looks good yeah so now um if i'm to take this away yeah i think this really looks good yeah. so then the arrows maybe you can style those too um so i'll take these away so i'll come under arrows then uh, maybe the background color can be black for the arrows then the color of the icons can be white so i think that's that's all right so i think that's it for that part so let's take a look at what you're developing next which is this um section right here okay and to do that let me just copy this i just copy it yeah then i'll paste it in here so hit paste and it will directly come in so now I'll click on the section, I'll come under style, I'll choose the image, go to media library, and the image that I'll be choosing is, I can find it, it's right here. So I'll select that, gets imported. Then um, for the text, maybe we can say, we can say something like, like gate or how to something like that it can be something like this how to something like that then we 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 can change this to read more read more so this can actually redirect to 
to gain. Um, yeah, it can redirect to gains. Then I think that's basically it. Yeah. However, before we leave this page, yeah, what we need to do is to take a look. Let me see, guys. Just to take a look at the mobile version, how it's looking. Yeah. So now uh, let's click on this pen icon. I mean, sorry, mobile phone icon. And this is too big, definitely needs to change. So I'll go to style typography and push it down. Yeah, shop collection is. And I think I may change the background for the mobile version. So I'll click choose image, media. And let's use, can this work? Let's see. yeah i think it can work for mobile then this this section right here let's just make it let's first unlink it then probably we can do 20 to the top 20 bottom yeah or let's just do 50 i think i guess 50 pixels to the top and bottom which i think is too much so let's maybe just do 30 30 okay so for the virgin hair i think this kind of looks okay but maybe we can reduce the font size then click go and it's advanced then let's pull this divider way up closer to Yeah, so I think if that's not too much, then we can leave it right here. Then these are looking fine, these are looking fine. However, for these, I think we can make them two. Instead of displaying one one, someone can easily mistake it for it not to be a slider. So in the layout settings, so in the carousel settings for mobile, let's just make them two at a time that are being displayed. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's a better display. Then the how to guides, this can change. You can find a better background. So you can choose another image from the media library. And what can we select? We can uh, use this, if that's okay. Yeah, and that looks good, okay? That looks good. So now our home page is done. So if I'm to update this and I click this icon to see how it's looking. I think now this looks so good. So good. Yeah, the products are here and everything is looking fine. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this Virgin Hair page. Uh, the Wix page, the new in, and the cell. Then we work on the gates, but this is really gonna be so simple. Okay, so now um, let's get started. Let's um, go to the Virginia page. Make sure you're here, and click on Edit Page. So I'm gonna close this. I think I'll close this. So when you go to this website that we already created. And we go to the virgin hair. Um, we're having this banner right here, then plus um, some um, products that are displayed in this category. And this is what we really need to create, okay? So we're gonna click with it with Elementor, okay? So now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create section with two sections of a container with two sections then in the background we're gonna use an image yeah so we'll go to the media library and I'll select this image right here okay then I'm gonna use it as center right okay then I'll say no repeat 
and this place size should be cover so I'll go to the advanced tab of the section then under padding I'll use let's see how many how much padding should we use because I'm thinking it could be 200 200 like the other so I think 200 is enough then on the right here I'll use a spacer yep but then this column would be 40 so I clicked on this column so click on this column and make this 60 then uh, we can say something like shop shop maybe just say virgin hair yeah virgin hair so I think we can center this and text can be white in the typography brown sugar is good enough yeah but we need to make it normal and this can be around 70 pixels yeah so that's looking nice already so now we're gonna add some products here okay so I'm gonna click on a section a container sorry and add this down facing container then come to this menu and I will search for product grid something like that let's search for product let's use product grid yeah and what we're gonna do some products are already in um but I don't like this so I think let's change the widgets let me delete this and let's search for gallery yeah that would be harder to edit but so there's a widget here called who product gallery this one I'm gonna drag and insert right here so the products are all in right now and I'm gonna turn this off to make sure that this goes off yeah so that is gone and within this section let me add some spacing first yeah let's add 70 from the top and 70 to the bottom okay so now let's click on this pen icon right here then we start making changes to 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 the products themselves okay so we're gonna select maybe preset 3 of how everything is displayed so that when you hover in this preset the items just get sort of displayed yeah then the columns i want five yeah so because we don't have any more products let me go under product settings and make them i think 12 products yeah so you guys um can sort these according to date product height or something whatever you prefer yeah but what i'm gonna do is since this is virgin hair you can actually include the virgin hair category to display right here okay yeah so let's add it this is for learning purposes so then it will display products uh, in the virgin hair category okay yeah but you don't want this to appear so i'm gonna deal with it while you're styling it okay so then once that's done uh, the product settings are configured i don't want to see the rating i don't want to see the out of stock i want to see the product price which is okay then the cell i think preset 3 is nice where it has that cupped edge or something like that the load more button can be shown in case there are more products to show then the buttons um the quick view this quick view i think it's okay then add to cut can also be on yeah then the image can also be clickable so when someone clicks on the image it basically redirects them to the product itself okay so let's go to style and what we are gonna do we're not gonna mess with the background right now okay but the items um 
what we're going to do with them is we need this font to be poppins okay yeah and let's first leave that at that uh, then uh, um we come to background that's where this background there because uh, i can't quite figure it out but or it's dealing with this okay I never wanted this to appear, so I'm actually gonna slide it down. Have you guys seen what I've done? So this background targets this virgin hair background. So what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll just make this transparent, like fully. Yeah. Then also the color, I'll just make it transparent fully. Then uh, I think I'll go back to the advanced and make sure I'll just remove just make these all zero yeah so i think that looks better then i'll come back to style okay so we've made this button um to be not seeable by making it transparent so we come under products yeah then what we're gonna do here actually not much everything looks to be on point yeah but let's go under color and typography okay so the product title it has a product color of this which i think is okay but then the typograph has to change so i'm going to give it our usual global header and let's transform it to be uppercase yeah not capitalized but uppercase and i think a font size of 12 should do yeah so it's the same thing that i think i'm gonna do for the product price i'm gonna i'm gonna select the typography to be the other global typography but then the font size is gonna be 12. yeah so i think that's okay it's looking really nice if i'm to take this away then i think you guys get the idea now um so now maybe the product name can be a little bolder so the product title um let me just make it i think 600 it doesn't actually need to be bolder it just needs to be bigger yeah so i think that looks all right the star ratings are off the cell badge this can be black yeah turn the red to black the text can remain white then the buttons these blue these purplish ones can change to black even on hover they can still change to black yeah so i think that looks okay so in case there's a lot more button we want the background color to still be black yeah so i think that's all right then the pop-up you guys already know the pop-up for example if i click on it right here it opens up certain settings so all these can be turned to black and the cell price color can remain red or black they just remain red and you can play around with this yeah so the cell badge for example it can also change to black something like that yeah then uh, let's take a look at some other sections of the website um let's see the cut button right here can also be changed to black yeah so for example if someone selects an option for example like then this can turn to black a waiver on hoover hold on let me click on this and i'll come under pop-up then uh, let's look for cards because on hover we didn't change this color we need to change it to black so for example when someone clicks and hovers over for example they select um, a product and they hover over here it should stay black yeah it has been purple but i think now everything is okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply this entire page to the wigs page and the cell and the new in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
update it then I'm gonna click uh, save options and I save it as a template and I'm gonna call it let's see um, shop template okay so I'm gonna save it and I think I'm gonna download it for you guys so that you guys can also use it so I'm gonna export it so you guys are going to find it in the link in the description it's gonna be shop template okay so this is how the virgin hair sh shop page is looking like so let's go to shop and we click on edit page so we make the shop page and we're gonna click edit with elementor okay so it's gonna open and once it's open i'm gonna click on this folder icon go to the template that i've already provided for you guys yeah and if uh, you want to insert it yeah, all you have to do is to click select file and you go to the resources folder where i stored it and it's right here so you can click upload it and insert it there but since mine is already here all i have to do is to go back to these templates and just insert it and it will automatically display here okay so now let's let's make some changes okay so now we're gonna say shop all maybe okay then click on this widget right here and what we need to change is actually in the carousel settings so it's it's we're gonna we're gonna remove this so that it displays everything and it can be sorted by best selling or top or something whatever you like okay so click on this section and we add some space to the top and the bottom so we can say 50 or 60 top and bottom and we just update that okay so once it's done updating and we click to view it um it's gonna display the shop or page like this okay so we can do the same thing with the new in and we can click edit page okay then after it opens up this page we can click edit with element and once so let me close this once the element our page opens up what we're gonna do is we're gonna go still in that folder icon that i clicked go to templates and i'm still gonna insert that same template and i will click allow okay so now it's gonna insert the template then i'm gonna edit the product settings okay so now what i have to do is to just change this to new in something like that then under this maybe I, will, I can go if i click this i can go to product settings then sort this by recent products yeah something like that then recent products order by date something like that okay then i think that makes sense guys okay or you can actually add some collections for example this is virgin hair so i'm gonna remove this yeah and i keep it updated like that okay so i'm gonna view this and it looks fine let's just do one more for the cells so i'm gonna go to cells and i'm gonna hit edit page okay and what i'm gonna do is still i'm gonna hit edit with elementor and once we're here i'm gonna click this folder icon go to templates okay then insert the shop template and apply so it's now open but now i'm gonna call this maybe summer cell something like that then i'm gonna change these settings to under product settings maybe i'm gonna change this to sell products so every product that's gonna be here it's gonna be an item that is on sale yeah so i'm gonna update that 
then view it okay and we're having some cells item here now let's use this template on one more page which is what they're tracking and let me cancel this let me go back um if you want to create another tracking page for example remember guys we imported this footer menu um from my website that i had just created so let's come to edit with Elementor, but instead of site settings and everything just just click on custom footer and we change this link to of track order to something different and you guys should do the same because if you leave it that way then it's going to be redirecting to my website instead okay so now um okay so now let's click on track order right here okay so i'm going to expand it and where it's so i'm going to type in track yeah something like this and no actually i don't need another item so just update that then i'll view it in a new window i'll close this up then if i'm to click on the track order page yeah there's nothing here so i can click on edit page and once this opens up i'm gonna hit edit with elementor and i'm gonna still import a template and i'm gonna say shop template apply now meanwhile let's go let's go to google and search for commas who commas short codes okay so we go to this website right here and i'm gonna press ctrl f and i find the ones for tracking tracking orders yeah so um let me just search for tracking maybe track something like that because yeah so this is another tracking form let's oops disappeared somewhere yeah so this let's say user see um their order details by entering you know a code so i'm gonna change this to order tracking order tracking then i'll delete this widget right here then i'll search for short code okay then i'm gonna paste in the short code right here okay so to track order the customer will press their order id then email then they can track their order so then we can click update okay now that's done let's view the page all right then lastly let's create the one for the guide so i'm gonna click on guide i'm gonna click on edit page then i'm gonna click on edit with elementor and i'm gonna import that same template so i'm gonna go to template and i'll import the shop template then uh, it's loading up here so i'm gonna type in autos something like this okay then i'm gonna delete this widget right here let me delete this image right here then what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a section right here. Hold on. I'm gonna add a section right here that flows towards the bottom. And I'm gonna throw in some text here. For example, no, no, no. I'll use a text editor. And I'm gonna throw in some some text. For example, let me see. I'll throw in some text like this. 
then I'll click on this section right here then maybe I'll make the width for example in percentages then I'll make it something like 60 something okay yeah so I'll click on this text again under style I'll just center it yeah then the typography really can be let it be poppins yeah then the spacing can be two or one that's okay in the color let it be black yeah so now under this let's just add two columns i'm gonna add a section or oh sorry container and in this container make sure the direction is to the right then uh, let's add another container inside that and we duplicate this oh let's first control and then do that so it's one container but what you're gonna do is gonna add some text here and we are gonna say maybe something like finding finding come on finding the right cup says so basically this is how you can actually make changes to to these other pages of the FAQ of of the return policy terms and condition something yeah so I'm gonna change this to small let's make it maybe 80 and a little more bolder something like 700 yeah so i want to add something like an image below that not to the side but below that okay in this image can be like a size guide something like this okay then all i have to do is to maybe duplicate this then this can be like how to measure your head how to measure your head so you can throw in videos you can throw in any type of media that you want to throw in here depending on whether it makes sense to you or not okay so i've just said design this this way but for example i want to widen this something like that then that also works yeah so i'm gonna leave this at this so i'm gonna save it up okay even when you take a look at the mobile version i think you should display all right yeah yeah no issues whatsoever okay so now now that we are done we have created the shop page and everything the wix pages and other pages we need to set up the the email email customizer maybe you create another demo then we'll be done okay so now let's exit out of this and we say apply and did i not save anything let's just update this okay then we exit out of it so I'll close this and I'll close this and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on this there's supposed to be a press logo right there and I'm gonna come to yay mail yay commas I go to yay mail and we start building the email okay so now once a new order comes in all these are like templates or events that can happen during order processing so you may need to create some email customized emails for these okay so then um let's say we have a completed order yeah so this is a default email that will come as sent but you don't want this okay so you want to change this image to our logo for example let me upload it again um let me swear to find it this is what i want to use okay 
So now it's I'll use that image. But then I want the background to be black. Yeah. Then thank you for shopping with us. This can be by the way custom text. It doesn't have to be thank you for shopping with us. It can be thank you for shopping from maybe with nourish okay you can maybe say nourish wings you can change the font to something like Hovenada. yeah whatever you like okay then you can say hi john blah 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 the downloads basically you can change all these to black in case you don't want to leave anything out these headers they can all be black and all this information and the billing addresses can also be black yeah so for example if you want to change the background of this um let's say for example change this text to white and hold on but we make the background color is still black but we want to change um, this text color also to white then uh, what else can we change um shipping date and billing date i think that's all right um we can insert some promotional stuff just as i'd shown you guys in this let me open it up in this email right here Do something like this, okay? How to have extensions, add a video, then this, and okay? Let's try and do that. Maybe to make more sense, okay? So now to do something like that, maybe we need to add a heading right here. Maybe we say, thank you for shopping with, what was the message once again? And seem to get a hold of it in my head. It was how to wear our extensions. Okay. How to wear to wear hair extensions. Something like that. So it can be bold. Okay. Then what we can do is we can change the background color to something like black and we can throw in a video after that so with the video element i can't seem to find it but it is somewhere it's here okay so then if we had to go to randomly pick a video from youtube just for demonstration purposes but if you have your video stored up somewhere you can basically copy a link of it um then you can you can basically insert it here okay so maybe we can say how to wear extensions something like this then maybe we can copy hold on sorry about that maybe you can copy this link address and sort of um just paste <coughs> it's here in the video url then we can upload a thumbnail so under the media gallery i can choose maybe this thumbnail okay then let's see what we can do still is now something like this maybe we can also offer send some promotional stuff so we can say um let's see let's see what we can say here we can say um get massive maybe new deals maybe get uh i can't really find some text let me just copy this new hair extensions yeah let's just say new hair extensions okay so then we don't need a subtitle maybe we can say get a 10 percent 
of using summer cell, something like that. Okay. So the text color here can be white, then the background can also be sort of black, I guess. Okay. Then probably you can throw in stuff like an image and let's see an image let's pick an image from the gallery you can use change image then uh, let's pick an image like this start off and we can change the background color to something black to just blend it in yeah so once you preview it this is how everything is looking yeah but i think what i'm gonna do just one minor change is I might want to change or maybe add some social icons to, to the top and bottom. Okay. So these can be, I'll just make them black and I really can't. Maybe they can be line, uh, line light, something like that or solid light something like that so you can have instagram facebook configured right here okay so once you preview this it's really a good email like template okay so before you leave here you have to turn it on to enable this template and hit save okay so now now that that is done let's just do one demo order so we're gonna go to our website which is right here and let's go maybe here in virgin hair and we pick for example this product right here select it three hundred dollars add it to the cart and once it's in the cart we can check out and what we'll do here is Select the name and street address. Oh God. Let's change this to United States maybe. United States and uh, street address state maybe California. Uh, zip code zero 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 maybe one nine the phone number and everything everything looks cool maybe the phone number can, the email can change and oh so sorry about this i think i need to do it again yeah so um maybe it doesn't have to be okay maybe i don't need to change it since yeah let me just randomly select this stuff okay then i'll use cash on delivery let's try placing an order so it's a thank you your order has been placed okay so once we go to our dashboard um and we try to check out um for example we go to commerce and check out the orders remember guys these orders still reflect in your mobile app that we set up okay so once I click on to this and I change this to, to completed and click update. Yeah. So now this is my billing, this is my shipping and this is a product that I have bought. Okay. So in my emails, I should be have received an email from the website confirming my order. So let's check the email. So right here, remember this is generated from Brevo, the one we signed up for. And you can open this up and you take a look. Your nourish order is now complete. Thank you for shopping with us. All these, we have some pro, uh, promotional, some guides right here, some promotional stuff. Yeah, so everything looks cool, guys. Um, this has been it for this tutorial. In case you have any questions, recommendations, that you'd like to have or share with me please feel free to contact if you need any help yeah my email is right in the 
about a section so let me know what you think of this and yeah please please subscribe to the channel and more is still yet to come thanks for watching